Uh, dear Dave, uh, letter number one begins, do people on the NBC Studios tour get to stop by your office and snap a quick photo with you? <laughs> Regards, Ernie Geach Garofalo, uh, War Axe Nebraska. Uh, yeah, I think the answer to this question is obviously sure. They, I mean, you know, the tours are always, just the other day, as a matter of fact, I was in my dressing room and the NBC tour came by. Right this way. And here's his dressing room, right down here. Do you think we could get a quick photo with Dave? Sure. <laughs> so there you go, that's what it was. <laughs> 14 years. Dave? Huh? I don't get something I don't get. What? Something I don't understand What's about. What's the problem? That. Why are NBC tours coming to your office? We're on CBS. <laughs> NBC. Are you crazy? We've been on NBC. We started on NBC. We're still on NBC, and we'll finish up right here on NBC. We've been here since the beginning. I don't get it. We're on CBS. Biff, back me up on this. We moved to CBS in 1993. <laughs> Biff? Uh, yeah, right, Paul. 1993 is seven years from now. Seven years from now? But this is, no, this is 1999 now. Paul, it's 1986. Your set. My, my set. My clothes. I, what am I... Am I... going crazy? This installment of Let's Screw with Paul Schaefer's Mind has been brought to you by Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Back to you, Dave. You get that? This had a nice sponsor, Bounty. I know, that's just I was what I was nicely sponsored. This is something we don't get at all. They got a sponsor, Bounty Paper Towels. Yeah. Your little Millennium Count. I have nothing. Red Cross. Red Cross, yeah, but thank God for Larry King. Did, did you get that thing? That owl. That screw with your mind, did you get that? It's a surrealistic thing. Yeah, I'm not sure I get it either. <laughs> uh, dear Dave, I really need uh, tickets to your show to give to my wife for our 25th wedding anniversary on October 26, 1999. Can you bypass some of the red tape and help me get the tickets? <laughs> Kenny Clark, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Uh, you know, when we got your letter, I was taken by it. And I thought, well, you know, 25 years, what is that? You know that thing where it's a, each anniversary has a special kind of... Yeah. So I got I put it together for a chart. Take a look at this here, Kenny. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, you start off with Trisha. 15th anniversary, Crystal. Crystal. How long have you been married, Paul? I'm coming up on nine years. Oh, okay. Well, this chart doesn't apply then. Not yet. <laughs> we started off at 15. I know. I wish I could help you out. I, I, I'm way down my hands right now. Tied. Just coming up on that. All, all I'm waiting for is a talking dog. Uh, 20th, uh, 20th anniversary, uh, uh, the gift is China. 20th anniversary. Okay, now. 25th, let's see. Two tickets, the late show of Dave Letterman. Right. Yeah, that's right. Now, let's see what the 30th anniversary is. If your 25th anniversary gift is a pair of late show tickets, there ain't going to be a 30th there anniversary, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Show me the dog. Show me the dog. There you go. Uh, hey, Dave, if you were the first man on the moon, what words of wisdom would you have said when you took that first step? Mark Merrick, uh, Crown Point, Indiana. You know, this is kind of a coincidence because in our balcony tonight, commemorating man's voyage to the moon 30 years ago, is lunar pioneer, Apollo 11 astronaut, Buzz Aldrin. Buzz? Reach a loud and clear, Dave. and awe. Buzz, is, is everything okay, Buzz? I found this piece of gum stuck to the surface of the balcony. Who knows how many mysteries of the universe it will unlock. Marvelous. This truly is America's finest hour. American hero Buzz Aldrin, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe a crimp in Buzz's air hose. <laughs> Letter number four, dear Dave, have you ever eaten cheese with a baboon in the afternoon? Uh, Megan Cottrell, <laughs> Brighton, Michigan. Um, does that mean anything? You know what that means? I'm not sure. Is that one of those euphemisms? Does that mean something? I'm not sure about that. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, I think, as a matter of fact, earlier today, I think exactly another coincidence here. Is this what happened earlier today? Take a look there. Look at that. Really? I have a cheese plate there, and that's our announcer. Uh, Excuse me, Dave. What the hell have they done to Alan Coulter's head? What is that all about? <laughs> Good Lord. Now, that's either his head, but not his body, or his body, not his head. Is that, what have they done there? The, huh? <laughs> yeah, please do check that. Wow, that, that looks like beginning surgery. It's just like, uh, oh my God. Okay, anyway, yeah, so there you are. I'm eating cheese with a baboon. Hold, hold, right. hold, hold, hold on What a is second, it, Alan? Dave. So I'm a baboon? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. Is that, is that the joke? You gotta learn to laugh at yourself, well, yeah. Right, Dave, Dave, which huh? writer is responsible for this? Uh, was it Tom Ruprecht? No, I don't think it was Tom. Oh. Uh, it was Steve Young. No, no, no. I As see. a matter of fact... So, uh, so it, was, it was a director's idea, no, Gary no, Foley's no, no, idea. No, no. I, you know, to be honest with you, Alan, it is my, my idea. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> It was your idea? Yes, it was my idea. I just thought it would be funny. We get the picture, we call you a baboon, and then we go on. That's all. Okay. I just thought it'd be funny. Yeah. Excuse me for a minute, Dave. Sure. Close up the CBS mailbag. Here we go. <laughs>